Hey everyone, it's Ro with Rose Wigglers. I wanted to, I haven't made a video in a minute and I'm realizing I haven't shown you all very much having to do with some of my larger worm casting production systems. So these are my two CFT continuous flow through IBC tote bins that I've got and they work really well for me. I have them actually over in a friend's basement because I am out of room in my basement and they've been doing a really great job for casting production. This one is taller. Um, honestly, I kind of like this one better because I'm short and this one's harder to work in and reach down into, but I, I stand on this um, milk crate here to get up to the bottom. But the way these systems work is you add your new material to the top and you can see I actually just finished feeding mine. So they got a lot of weeds today and then I covered that with a layer of soaked bedding, basically cardboard and compost that I absolutely drenched in worm tea. Um, and so that's gonna really get this side cranking. Now, with a system like this, there's still the risk of overheating and baking your worms. And so that's why I'll do a big feeding, but I'll do it only on one side of the bin so that if slash when this heats up, because I did have actually a lot of green matter in today, a lot of weeds. Um, when this heats up, the worms will be able to go to the other side and hang out over here and be working this material until this cools down and then they'll move in and they'll start breaking all this down. So here's this one. You can see everything is looking really gorgeous on the inside. Just really nice, dark, rich material. This bin definitely has more worms in it. I did something to the bin on the other side. I'm not sure, but it is definitely has less worms in it. So I'm gonna have to add some more. But this one is doing great. Over here, we've got the feeding on this side. Again, the weeds covered in the brown material soaked in worm casting tea, which basically just introduces tons and tons of microbes into this space and gets it really cranking and the worms love it. This side over here, it's kind of where the worms are mostly hanging out today. But like I said, there's a lot less and I just poured a bunch of worm tea on this side too to keep everything nice and wet. So we won't see very many worms at the moment. They're kind of down further in here, but they are all throughout working this material. And what happens is you're always, it's called continuous flow through because you are always adding your new material in the top of the bin. You harvest from the bottom of the bin. Now I will say I've started doing a couple of bigger wedge systems. I'll, I'll put a video of that too. I am definitely moving toward a preference for the wedge systems uh, because it allows you to basically keep adding material and harvest from the other end. These ones, you know, it's basically a side to side uh, continuous flow through. These, you harvest from the bottom when you're ready. Right now, you can see all this liquid draining down. That's from what I added. And one thing that I do like about these systems is that you can't really necessarily overwater your bin too much because gravity will do its thing and the rest will pour out into the bottom here. Um, so I like that. But anytime you get dry pockets or sometimes I'll get like a sinkhole somewhere in the middle and then all the stuff will just start self-harvesting down when I'm not ready to harvest and then I gotta clog up that sinkhole and keep it from spilling down, things like that. Um, so these ones are a lot more troubleshooting and maintenance. When they work well, they work really well. Um, when they, when things go awry, it's kind of a big pain. So I love these systems. They're great as a DIY way to set it up, but I do prefer the wedge system. So stay tuned for my video on wedge systems, which I'll be showing sometime new. And in the meantime, remember, healthy soil, healthy plants, happy worms. See you in the next video.